Today, we've got a challenge for ourselves. To take out all three of the Team Go Rocket leaders, Cliff, Sierra and Arlo, using only mythical Pokemon. Alright, so hi hi to all of you guys! So yeah, let me go to bring my screen and show you guys that there are actually two Cliffs over here. My character is drifting like to the other side of the road. But I'm sure you guys uh, what I'm going to use over here. I'm going to type mythical. I'll show you guys that these are all the Pokemon that I can choose to use. Right, from Hoopa to Darkrai to Melmetal to Genesect and then my two uh, level 50 Celebi and Mew also. Actually all these Pokemon are all already level 50, what am I talking about? Yes, including all those five Genesects that you guys see over there. Uh, clearly, I love Genesects too much. Alright, so anyway, let's go ahead to um, search for Cleave. He's over here. I'm gonna attack on this. Why, why, don't, why did I say search for Cliff? Cliff is here. So, um, Cliff has Aerodactyl as his first Pokemon, and Aerodactyl is a very, very tough Pokemon to fight. So, um, that's my team that I usually use, but no, we're not gonna use that team. We're gonna type Mythical. Okay, and we're gonna select from here. So, the number one Pokemon that I feel uh, among all these to actually fight um, Aerodactyl is Melmetal, and then probably following up with uh, Genesis, depending on the fast move. Alright, and I'm uh, also going to use Mew and uh, even uh, the other Pokemon. I'm just going to randomly just choose them. Okay, I'm probably going to do it like uh, like this. Okay, and then uh, we will see how things goes. Alright, great. So we're going to swap into Melmetal immediately. Use it to uh, take out the Aerodactyl before we actually bring in the other two Pokemon to handle the rest of the other Pokemon. Alright, so I don't even know what's the fast move of this. It is uh, running what? I'm, I'm not sure. It did a lot of damage. So that's running Bite, I think. Yep, Bite is doing a lot of damage, guys. Bite is doing so much damage. So much so that um, my uh, Mew would not suffer, face fare too well against it. Alright, so let's go ahead to burn the two shoes. Quickly burn the two shoes. Okay, great. Let's go ahead with another Nyx Rock Slide. So remember, Using the first two charge moves will burn the shoes and then subsequently um, it will then um, not be not have any shoes left. Okay. So anyway, this uh, Melmetal I believe is a 98% IV. I do not have a 100% IV uh, Melmetal yet. I've been lazy to open the mystery box. Okay, let's go ahead to try and farm down the uh, Aerodactyl. Hopefully we can, hopefully we can. We need to farm it down. Oh my god. We, okay, well both of us got farmed down at the same time. Well, what's the next Pokemon? Okay, it is a slow king. I am then gonna bring in my Mew. Since uh, my Mew actually has wild charge, which then should be good enough to handle the the slow king. But I also would like to charge up a bit of energy just in case the last Pokemon being Tyranita, I can actually uh, do something against it. So let's go ahead with this. Let's go ahead with this. I think I need to charge up the excellent, right? Because uh, it's pretty tanky. Okay, I'm just gonna farm a little bit more. Farm a little bit more, switch into Hoopa. Okay, now Hoopa, do your thing. Though I do not know whether I should change your moves or not because if the next Pokemon is Tyranita, which is roughly 85% of the time will be Tyranita, we are totally dead. Yep, we are totally dead because it's a bite Tyranita also, but we're just gonna go with our very first charge move, Dark Pulse. And it having bite, I just hope it has crunch so that it actually will use its charge move early. Okay, please use your charge move. Please use your charge move. Okay, please have crunch or brutal swing. Okay, one, two. Three. We're gonna go with Surf. Okay. Okay, this is a bit worrying, guys. It's very worrying. It's rather worrying, but we will try our best. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, great. Now we should be good. We can fire off another Surf right after this. We're good to take it out. Oh my god, it's actually really close. Whew. Okay, one more. Okay, okay. Let's go with that. Oh, very good. Okay, so that was very close, in my opinion. and. I had to swap in the mail method just now to um, have a little bit of delay on the fast move from the Aerodactyl otherwise I won't be able to take it down. So anyway, I've already gotten the Shiny Shadow Aerodactyl but the other two, Shiny Shadow Ipom and Shiny Shadow Geodude from Arlo and Sierra respectively, I've not gotten any of those. I've been fighting, I've been fighting the grunts, I've been fighting the leaders like crazy but no luck at all. So hopefully the next two uh, battles against them I can get two shinies back to back against Arlo and Sierra. Let's go and look for them now though. Yep. 
Wow guys, we are in luck. We found both Sierra and Arlo. Well, I'm gonna battle Sierra first since she's further away. I do not want my character to drift and then I can't get her. Alright, so let's see uh, what we have. Oh my god, I just realized that the Poké stop. The person who took the photo, I can see the reflection of the person. <laughs> I just realized that on this Poké stop. Oh my god. Anyway, let's go ahead to uh, my uh, mythical team. Alright. D-A-L. Alright, great. So, um, Sierra starts with Geodude, which then I probably would use her Deoxys. Alright, I might want to use Celebi or so. And uh, maybe, I don't know, Darkrai? Should we use Darkrai? Um, I don't know if it's a good idea to use Darkrai though. Um, but I know he has Hound, she has Houndoom at the back, so Genesect would have been great. You know what, I'm going to use Meow Metal again. Alright, so I'm going to lead with Meow Metal first. And then we'll see how things goes. Just hope the Houndoom does not have Fire Fang, otherwise it wouldn't be good because I have two Pokemon that's weak to fire. Alright, we're gonna bring in our Deoxys now. To just uh, counter down the Geodude, do a few rock slides to uh, burn the shields. Although doing Psycho Boost is better, but our attack will drop. Just gonna go with Psycho Boost first. I think uh, we might be able to switch back to our Mel Metal or something like that, provided the Geodude actually does its uh, charge move. Come on, Geodude, use your charge move, please. Use your charge move, please. Like, good, good, good that it used its charge move. Okay, I'm trying to maximize it, playing to the best, even without um, scouting at all, basically, without even uh, battling through at all to see what Pokemon she's gonna use. Okay, bringing in Sable Eye. Hmm, Sable Eye. Okay, we are gonna have to uh, save the rock slide, like I said, for the last Pokemon, which could potentially uh, be. Oh my god, almost fainted. <laughs> which could potentially be Houndoom. Okay, we're gonna do two more counters, then switch into probably Celebi. Okay, switching into Celebi. I'm not too sure if it's the right play though, and uh, I think this Celebi does not have the move that it's supposed to have also. Okay, I'm gonna use Leaf Storm, please, Leaf Storm. Leaf Storm will one-shot KO the uh, Sable Eye, because it's a very, very hard-hitting charge move. It's basically overheat in the grass form, and the last Pokemon, okay, it is Victory Bell. Okay, it is Victory Bell instead. It is not the Pokemon that I was thinking it would be, but it's okay, it's running a uh, Acid. Okay, I'm gonna do a few counters. You know what, actually, I think I, we don't even need to use the Mel Metal. We can just do double cycle boost and it should be enough to knock out the um, Victory Bell already. Alright. Yeah, we can just do two more counters. Okay, making sure that we just maximize on everything. Although we could have done uh, two or three more counters before we did the first cycle boost on the Victory Bell also. Okay, but is that enough? Yes, it is. Okay, wow. That was nice. And hopefully I get myself the Shiny Shadow Geodude because like I said, I've not gotten it yet. I think I battled her more than uh, 50 or 60 times already. Arlo probably 70 or 80 times already. Yep, not shiny. That's quite sad. But it's okay. We will try again um, soon. But we will go ahead to battle Arlo now. Do not have a rocket radar, so I have to purchase it. Alright, so let's just do a quick catch on this. Okay, great. Three, two shakes and it's done. Oh wait, that's another. Wait, how come my radar is... Oh, oh, I actually bought an extra one just now before I started this. See, I'm, I'm getting old. So there are two Arlos here. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll just take this one since my character drifted there. I'm going to type Mythical. We also have to heal our Pokemon first. I'm so sorry. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to use the regular revive. Do it uh, properly. Okay, great. Now, um, let's select our Pokemon over here under um, level 50 T-I-C-A-L Alright, great. So, I'm gonna use Genesect as the first Pokemon because uh, he would lead with Ipom which then Genesect would do um, well against it. I mean, it has Scratch. Alright, second Pokemon I am gonna use... Uh, you know what? Let's, let's go ahead to try something interesting. We're gonna use Mew and Celebi. Okay, last Pokemon. I mean, I need a fire because it could be Caesar. Oh, I haven't used Darkrai yet. Okay, well, I'm gonna use Darkrai then. Okay, I'm gonna use Darkrai. We're gonna use my Shando um, Genesect. Okay, great. I think that should be fine. Hopefully. Yep, hopefully. Okay, so Mew, of course, won't do too well against uh, Eye Bomb, so we have to switch into Genesect straight. Okay, I'm not even sure what's the move is running. 
Okay, 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 okay. Some bubble looking uh, move. Okay, we're gonna go with X scissors all the way just to um, remove the <coughs> shields. Scissors is just so spammy because of the Fury Cutter that uh, Genesec has also. Alright, and this uh, Genesec is the regular drive one, not the frost drive. Frost drive, chill drive, I mean. <coughs> Or whatever drive. Although it would be nicer to get the trio drive one. Right, so we burn both shields already, great. And uh, we're just gonna farm up as much energy as we can for now. We're gonna shield up against this. So sorry if there's a lot of noise interruption, but here seems to be a rather chill place for me. So hence why I decided to do it here. Alright, sweet. It'll be resisted because it's a normal type of move. You know what? We're gonna totally farm down the um, eye bomb. We have like a hundred energy now on our Genesec, and we can just slowly spam down the. Mmm, it is Sharpedo. Let's go ahead with Xyzers. Oh my god, I might be able to take it down with only one Pokemon. Who knows, man? Alright. Okay, okay, that did a lot of damage, bro. Okay, what's the last Pokemon then? Okay, it is Caesar. Caesar it double resist bark. So we will go with a uh, Magnet Bomb that will do slightly more damage. Alright. Okay, okay, I mean, slightly more is still not enough. Double resisting bark, like I say, we're gonna go with our Magnet Bomb also. So, Caesar is actually the same typing as Genesect. But um, the thing is, uh, Genesect in the shadow form in the future will be better once it comes. Okay, we're gonna go with another Magnet Bomb now after doing like a few more Fury Cutters. Okay, great. It's actually four Fury Cutters, then you actually go with your move, your Magnet Bomb. Oh my god, seriously, we're just gonna use only one Pokemon. Oh my god, Genesect, you're just too insane. Yep. Wow. Seriously, we just beat Arlo with only one Pokemon. Genesect, that's it. And use the new one shoe. How amazing. Well, hopefully with that, using my Shando Genesect, I can get myself my very first shiny shadow iPom. Please. And it'd be nicer if it's a Shando Shadow iPom. No, I go and sleep lah, Brandon. That's so sad to see. Yep, so I think that is all that I have to show to you guys in this video and in terms of how the mythical Pokemon performs against the three Team Go Rocket leaders. It's been a fun one to actually make such a video. It's been a while since I made such a video, although it's uh, quite a chill one. Um, but uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely remember to leave a like on the video. It'd be much appreciated. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. Alright, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.